Okay, so what we have here is a pretty simple home security system. Um, this is what I built for my uh, embedded class. Um, so let's go through the whole system and see what it in what's in there, shall we? Okay, uh, cool. So now here we have a, a alphanumeric keypad. It's four versus three keypad that's connected to this uh 80 mega 88 pa and there's like a ds1621 sensor there's a pool of resistors that runs through the i2c bus through here there's also a adc converter that takes input from this there's a photo diode in there you can see that here the photo diode things look good and there's the buzzer and there's also a led screen display you can see there okay so now let's go through this thing so now what we have here is so this part here it shows you how much percentage of light is in there so if I if I uh, yeah cover this thing the light sensor goes down so there's like 30% of light if I uncover this thing the light sensor says it's 68% of light. 100% of light is calibrated to the sunlight, so yeah. And there's also the temperature sensor, which will work if I touch this thing here. The temperature is going up 26.5, 27, 27.5, 28. That's my reading from my finger 28.5. It should go somewhere like. 30 degrees Celsius, 28.5, Yeah. So, you know, the sensor, if I let go of the sensor, it goes to back to normal room temperature. So now there's two, this is the status. So the status is unlocked. If you enter a pin here, it'll be locked or unlocked mode. This this LED is showing how much how rapidly it's taking the values of the data of the whole system. So now let's put a uh, wrong pin number. The, the pin number is set like three zero five five. That's my number roll number was it where while in I was in my college. So now so press one. So there's like you have a star in there. Zero three four. So there's. It says wrong pin, so the one, two, three, four doesn't work. Yeah, the system is still unlocked. Now let's go to pin three, zero, five, five. So now the system says the pin is granted. And now the whole system is locked. You can see that from here. And if someone passes through this, so this whole system will be mounted in, you know, in front of your door or something. So now if someone passes by like this, then you can see the LED is going up. So that means that someone pass, passed over the door. So the LED will buzz off and you, you know that someone, uh, a burglar, like entered your room. So now it will take the authority and, you know, wake you up. Well, um this led pin can be connected to a relay that can also you know do something with a real-time buzzer or you can add a buzzer here. Uh, and this this thing can be uh, hooked up to a relay that can give you a uh, external signal or i i love the spi bus here here the spi bus is open so you can hook up a wireless module to you know let the user know about like the uh, unauthorized access to your system. Um, the system looks pretty good. Um, it's pretty simple and robust. Uh, well, here's the LEDs are going from here. This is the data pins. These are pins, pin numbers that goes to the 88 mega PA. Uh, well, the whole system can be run with a battery of where I have here is a battery and um, I'm gonna unplug this thing here um, plug this one back so
so it says um let me do it one more time so system active so it means the whole system is working and runs with the battery here i'm gonna undo so this is the adapter that i'm using so now it's running by its own with the unlock system the whole system is unlocked so you know the temperature you know about the right values of the leds let me turn up the lights here so you can see the whole thing i guess uh, i guess no i guess not uh, turn on the lights yeah that's more like it yeah you can see the temperature in there so now give the right pin number pin is granted system is locked now if I go over this the LED glows up so yeah so you know there's an intruder you have to unlock the system pin is granted the whole system is now unlocked so you can show the normal temperature and the reading from the photodiodes and the temperature reading so my room temperature is now 25.5 degrees celsius which is very high according to me because the normal temperature would be minus 10 degrees celsius so yeah this chip can so this baby can uh, read up to like minus 125 to plus 125 so that would be more than enough for the requirements of the system and uh, the light sensor here if i if i uh, cover the whole light sensor you can see that the light sensor going down 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 yeah, it goes down to all the way, all the way. Yeah. So, and now the light sensor is like 62% of percentage of lights. I can also, uh, so, you, so what you can do with this system. So this system can be plugged in into any place as it's a portable thing. So it can run into any place with batteries or without. Okay, so this is how the system looks like. Um, here you go. Take a good look at this. System taking temperature. Everything is working pretty fine. Keypads are here. LEDs are here. There's a DS120 thermal resistor chip. I've used a photo sensor and a buzzer or an alarm. Yeah, you can uh, ignore this part. These are just like the driver sensor and the driver pull up. So the only thing you need to have is this 88 mega PA. And with that, the system works pretty fine. And this concludes my presentation for this embedded system project of this home security system. I hope it helps you.